Is Phuket dangerous? Today, I'm having a walk through the back streets of Phuket and I'm gonna break down five things that you should be aware of if you're planning a trip here. Stay tuned till the end because I've got a good story about how someone tried to rob us. Okay, so just like Pattaya, there are a bunch of scams that are rife here in the city. There's jet ski scams. Not take video of me. If you take video of me, I fire you. Motorbike scams. Now, I'm not going to go into all of the scams because I've already done another video on scams already. You can check that one out here. But when you're walking along Patong Beach, there's going to be loads of different guys pestering you for parasailing, all the water sports. They're all over Patong Beach. And when you're there, you just want to be careful about some of these because some are going to be good and some are going to be bad. You are put in your top. Uh, Thailand no good, jet ski. You, you pop your top. And there's no real way of knowing which are the good ones or the bad ones if you're a tourist before you go on these. But what I would recommend doing is just take photos of all the vehicles that you're using before you enter them. The jet skis, the boats, anything like that. As for the parasailing, I've not heard of any incidents involving that. But still be careful when getting involved in these activities. Now there's a whole bunch of scams in Phuket, but this video is not about scams. It's about whether Phuket is dangerous. But some of the common scams you're going to see in Phuket, the minivan scam when you get out the airport, they take you to a travel agent, they say your hotel's fully booked, they try and get you to pay for another accommodation, be aware of that one and then there's all the gem shop scams where they take you to gem shops and they try and get you to buy fake gems all stuff like that it's rife in Phuket there's loads of different things going on so just be wary if you come into Thailand and you've never been here before and someone offers you to take you to a gem shop or take you anywhere else in a tuk-tuk that you don't really want to go whether it be a suit shop or to go see some sexy ladies just say no because it's always going to be a benefit for them and not a benefit for you it's going to take up your time take up your money and just avoid it at all costs it's never worth it so don't bother doing it Okay, so that's enough about scams. Let's talk about if this place is dangerous. When I was on my way back from Phuket Old Town the other day, I saw something horrific. Oh my God. All over Thailand, there's thousands of motorbikes flying all around these cities and no one gives a damn about the traffic around here. And it's actually horrendous. I was even walking the other day and a car was physically pushing my legs, trying to pull into a drive. I was just walking and it was coming up behind me, pushing my legs. And I was like, what's going on here? They do not give a damn here. And it's not just the Thai people, it's the tourists as well. The tourists are just as bad as the Thai people. No one gives a damn about the traffic. No one gives a damn where you're walking or what you're doing. Everyone's just in one big rush. And I think it's more of a problem in the busy season because obviously in the low season, there wouldn't be that many people around and there'd be less cars on the road, less traffic and less accidents, basically. I've seen other YouTubers make videos about this as well. And yeah, it's just one of those things in Thailand that just happens all the time. If you come in here and you're renting a motorbike or a scooter or even a car, just be careful because although you may be a safe driver, you've got your helmet, you've got your license, you do everything by the book, you think you're totally safe. But the reality is you're not because there's loads of people out here that don't give a damn, especially the tourists that are out drinking all night and then they hop on a motorbike and then they just go and drive around like an idiot. And that's when the accidents happen. So just be careful if you are coming here and you are renting a bike, although you may think you're safe, you're actually not. Now the next point I want to touch on is the drugs here in Thailand. Now I've been all over Thailand and I've never been offered drugs ever anywhere once, apart from when I came here to Phuket. When you're walking down Bangla Road, there's a sea of people, there's a load of people there constantly going, want this, want this, want that, want that. And you're just getting badgered all night long. And I would highly recommend avoiding all these people at all costs for two reasons. First, you don't even know what these guys have got. It might not even be what you think. It could be any sorts of chemical. It could be really bad for you. They're just selling this random stuff to random tourists they're never gonna see again. Don't be stupid. Just ignore these people, walk on, walk away, and don't do it. And the second reason, a lot of these people work with the Thai police and all they've got to do is say, that guy over there has got some drugs and what they'll do is they'll take a bribe off the police officer and they'll work together to catch these people to extort money out of them and this can get you into a real sticky situation not only could you be having some dangerous chemicals that you don't even know what they are you could then be getting fined by the police end up in Thai jail having to pay a bail of 5, 10, 15, 20 thousand baht and maybe not even get out so that is a really bad situation and you don't want to get in and I've never had this anywhere all over Thailand until I got to Phuket and yeah it gives off a bit of a bad vibe for me to be honest if you're going to do anything like that especially out here you're putting yourself at a major risk so don't do it don't be an idiot and don't be stupid
Okay, so this next one goes a bit further afield than Phuket, but I wanted to drop it in here because I think it's one of the most dangerous things you can do while you're in Thailand. Now, you may or you may not have heard of Koh Tao, known to some as Death Island. Now, this place is known as a beautiful island. You can go snorkeling here and it's got some really stunning landscapes. But there is a dark side to this island. I'm not gonna go into all of the details because they're quite gruesome, but there has been countless murders here of tourists while they're out here on holiday. And there's loads of documentaries about this. You can look this up. And what I found is with a lot of these people, the people that go missing or are found dead, are a lot of the people that go there and start asking questions and start videoing. And this is why I'm never gonna go there myself, especially as a YouTuber, I think it's highly dangerous. If you're doing a YouTube like my channel, where you go around asking stupid questions. Now I'm not trying to throw shame on the island and I'm not trying to get people not to go because it does look absolutely beautiful and I would love to go, but I would never go there myself just because of the stories I've heard. I'm just sharing with you my thoughts about this place and about Thailand and whether it is a dangerous place. As a tourist, there's not many other dangerous places in Thailand apart from some of the southern provinces, which I'll put the names down here because I forgot the names, where there's a lot of racial wars and stuff like that going on. So really, you want to avoid those places too. Okay, so this next one is kind of funny, but pretty dangerous too. So there I was with my two friends walking along Bangla Road at the end of the night. We got some food, we had a few drinks, we was nowhere near drunk. We'd only been out a couple of hours. And then out of nowhere, out of the blue, a lady boy comes up to one of my friends, grabs his pouch, pulls it that hard, he drops his phone on the floor, and then they're both there just staring at each other. I thought it was gonna kick off. And then he just said, F off, and then we got away, left the scene, and yeah, it all happened so quick, it was like a flash. These people must be standing on the side of the streets waiting for people to pounce on. It's crazy how it can all happen so fast. I can see how this can be dangerous for a lot of people when they're out here especially if you're traveling alone late at night drinking at the end of Bangla Road because it does happen a lot there it does happen in other places in Thailand as well but seeing it firsthand happen here in Phuket is crazy so just be careful if you are coming out here and you are traveling around late at night on your own because it can happen to anyone so keep your wits about you now I'm not trying to throw shade on this place because I do like Phuket and I've liked it more and more the longer I've stayed here but I just wanted to highlight some of these things for you guys because the last thing that anyone wants while they're on holiday is to get scammed get in a motorbike accident get in trouble with the Thai police and drugs and get robbed by a lady boy none of those things should be happening to you while you're on holiday so yeah I hope this video has been useful and I hope it's made you more aware of the dangerous things here in Phuket and in Thailand guys make sure you subscribe to the channel drop a like on the video if you want to support the channel you can buy me a coffee there's a link for it in the description peace see you in the next one